This video is sponsored by Casio Malaysia. Hi everyone, I'm Miss Shirley and welcome back to my channel. Do you know the difference between original and fake Casio calculator? A genuine Casio calculator is obviously of high quality. The hard case slides on easily and the edge around the calculator is curved and smooth. Most importantly, the buttons are more sensitive when you press it and all the functions are working properly as expected. You don't want to risk getting the wrong answers for your exam, right? In this video, I'll be teaching you on how to solve questions using Casio Calculator for additional mathematics. As for the materials, I've inserted the link in the description below. You may download it and print it out for your own self-practice if you want to. For those who still haven't gotten this calculator yet, don't fret. You may still learn from this video. At the end of this video, if you wish to buy this calculator, I will show you how to buy it from Shopee Casio Official Store. Alright, let's get started. In this video, you will learn how to solve systems of linear equations in three variables. Here are the four simple steps to follow. Number one, determine which variable to be eliminated first. Number two, after elimination of one of the variables, you will get two simultaneous equations in two variables. Number three, solve the simultaneous equations in two variables. And number four, substitute the solutions of the two variables into one of the given linear equations to find the answer for the third variable. Let's look at question number one, solve the following. So in this question, three equations will be given to you and these three equations are in three variables. So the first one is x plus y plus z equals to 4. The second one is x minus 2y plus 3z equals to 7. And the third one is 3x plus 5y plus z equals to 6. So I label this as equation 1, equation 2, and equation 3. Okay? And then we look at equation 1 and 2. What is the same? x and x, right? Okay, so we are going to eliminate x first. Yeah? So I'm going to use equation 1 minus equation 2. So x minus x is 0. y minus negative 2y will get 3y. And then z minus 3z is negative 2z equals 4 minus 7 is negative 3. And this one, I label it as equation 4. Okay? Okay, so now we're going to look at equation 3. So equation 3, I'm going to compare with equation 2. So equation 2, the x uh, is that the coefficient is 1. So I'm going to make it coefficient 3. So I'm going to multiply equation 2 with 3. So then my x will become 3x. Then later, I can minus with the equation 3. Okay, so I times 3 first. So 3 times x is 3x. Then minus 6y. Then after that, plus 9z equals to 21. Okay? So this one, I will label it as equation 5. So now, I'm going to use equation 5 okay, minus equation 3. Okay? Because I want to eliminate this 3x with 3x. Okay? So, now, 5 minus 3, yeah? So, the first term is 3x. 3x minus 3x is 0. Negative 6y minus 5y, you get negative 11y. And then 9z minus z, you get plus 8z. Okay, then equals to 21 minus 6, we get 15. Okay? And this one, I will label it as equation 6. Okay? And then now, we look at equation 4. Okay? So, 4 here. Okay? And also here, equation 6. Okay? So, what are we going to make it similar? So, I'm going to make... Okay, let's see this 2z and this 8z, right? So, this one, I'm going to make it to become 8z. Okay? So, 
I have to times 4, right? So which means that our equation 4, we have to multiply with 4 first. Okay? So 3y times 4 is 12y minus 8z equals to negative 12. And this one, I will label it as equation 7. Okay? So now I have this 8z and this. And you see? Okay? Which means that I can eliminate the z. Yeah? So let's solve this. So I'm going to use 6 equation 6 plus equation 7. Then my 8z will be eliminated. Okay? So in negative 11y plus 12y, I will get y. So equals, okay, because 8z, okay, plus with negative 8z, we get 0. So z has already been eliminated. Okay, then 15 plus negative 12, we get 3. Okay, so we get the answer for y. Okay, and then we're going to substitute y into equation 4, okay, to get our z value. Okay, so I'm going to write here, substitute y equals to 3 into 4. Okay? So our 4 is 3y minus 2z equals to negative 3. Okay? Which is here. So 3y minus 2z equals to negative 3. Okay? So here will be 9 minus 2z equals to negative 3. Okay? So 9 plus 3 equals to 2z. So this is 12 equals to 2z, therefore z is equals to 12 divided by 2 is 6. So we got the answer for z. Okay, z is 6. So since we already got y and z, now we need to find x. So I'm going to substitute into equation 1 because that is the simplest equation compared to the other two equations. Okay, so I'm going to sub y equals to 3 and z equals to 6 into equation 1 okay so our equation 1 is x plus y plus z equals to 4 okay it means it's x plus y plus z equals to 4 okay so x plus 9 is equals to 4 so x is 4 minus 9 okay is equals to 4 minus 9 is negative 5 so now we have x, y, and z. Okay, what I'm going to do is we're going to write again. So therefore, okay, x is equals to negative 5, y is 3, and z is equal to 6. And this is the final answer. Now I will show you how to double check your answer using the Casio Classwiz calculator. Now everyone, take out your calculator. We go to menu and then we press right, right, right until we can see equation. Okay, which is A. So press alpha and then the negative button A. And then we go to simultaneous equation. We press 1. So how many unknowns here? X, Y, and Z will be 3 unknowns, right? So press 3. So we, you see here, okay, there will be 3 rows. So we're going to key in all the values, okay, of A, B, and C. So as for the first one, is X plus Y plus Z equals to 4. So the A is 1 equals, and then the B is 1 then equals, and the C is 1, and then equals, and then 4, then equals. Okay, it will go to the second row. Then the second row, the second equation is x minus 2y plus 3z equals to 7. So a is 1, equals, then negative 2, equals, and then 3, equals. Okay, and then equals to 7, equals. Okay, now we go to the third equation. 3x plus 5y plus z equals to 6. So 3 equals and 5 equals 1 equals 6. Okay? Equals. And then when we press equals again, we get the x answer. x value is negative 5. And then y is 3. And z is 6. Ta-da! So we confirm that our answers for x, y and z is correct. Let's look at question number 2. The table shows the colour and the number of t-shirts bought by Ali, Balan and Chan while on vacation. So here we have blue, red and white t-shirt. So I'm going to label here as X, Y and Z. 
and then we can derive three equations from the question given, from the table given, okay? And then 44 ringgit, 16 ringgit and 74 ringgit are the total amount spent by Ali, Balan and Chan respectively. Okay, so let's derive the three equations. So the first one from Ali, okay? So Ali is 3, 2 and 4, which means that is 3x plus 2y plus 4z is equals to 44, okay? And this one I label as equation 1, okay? Then the second one from Balan, so 1, 1, 1. So it's x plus y plus z is equals to, total amount span is 16. And this is equation number 2, okay? Then the third one is from Chan, so 2, 5, 5. So 2x plus 5y plus 5z is equal to 74, okay? Total amount span is 74, so this is the third equation. So now I'm going to solve the x value for from equation 1 and 2, okay? So which means that my equation 2 uh, have 2 times with 3. So equation 2, okay, times with 3. So what we will get? So we will get 3x plus 3y plus 3z equals to 16 times 3 is 48 and we get equation 4 okay and then after that i'm going to use equation 4 minus 1 okay because we can eliminate okay 4 minus 1 we can eliminate this one 3x and 3x okay so okay 3x minus 3x we get 0 so where x has already been eliminated then 3y minus 2y is y and then 3z minus 4z is negative z equals 48 minus 44 is equals to 4. And this one is equation number 5. Okay, then next one, I'm going to use equation 2 and 3, okay, to solve the x, to eliminate the x, okay. So the equation 2, I have to times 2 for the whole equation. So equation 2, okay, times with 2, okay, times with 2. So here, we we'll get 2x plus 2y plus 2z equals to 16 times 2 is 32. And this one is equation number 6, okay? Then next one, I'm going to use equation 3 minus 6, okay? Equation 3 minus 6. So where is equation 3? Okay, here. This one, 2x and 2x, okay? To eliminate the x. So 2x minus 2x is 0. And then 5y minus 2y, we get 3y. And then 5z minus 2z, you get 3z. And then 74 minus 32 is equals to, okay, let's calculate. 74 minus 32, we get 42, okay? Equals to 42, okay? And this is equation number 7, okay? And then next one, okay, question, equation number 5, okay? We have to times with... Okay, because I want to settle 5 and 7, equation 5 and equation 7 to eliminate the y. So in equation 5, uh, the y coefficient is 1. So I need to make sure that it's 3y. So I times with 3, okay? I times with 3. So I get 3y minus 3z equals to 12. Okay, and this is equation 8. Okay, and then now I can eliminate the y already. Okay, because I have this and this. Is it not? Okay, 3y and 3y can be eliminated. So I'm going to use equation 7 minus equation 8. So 3y minus 3y is 0. So y has been eliminated. Then 3z minus negative 3z will be 6z, right? Okay, so it will be 6z equals to 42 minus 12 is 30. So z is 30 divided by 6 is 5. So we got z already, okay? So now I'm going to substitute this, okay, z equals to 5 into equation 5 okay into equation 5 so sub z equals to 5 into equation 5 okay into equation 5 so equation 5 is y minus z equals to 4 so y minus z equals to 4 so my y is 4 plus 5 is 9 so we got the value of y which is equals to 9 so now since we have already have y, uh, the values of y and z we can substitute into equation the simplest one is equation 2 okay because all the coefficients are 1 so i'm going to substitute into equation 2 to get the value of x okay so i'm going to continue here sub y equals to 9 and z equals to 4 uh, z equals to 5 okay into equation 2 okay 
So it's x plus y plus z equals to 16. So x plus y is 9 and z is 5 equals to 16. So x okay, plus 14 equals to 16. So x is four, 16 minus 14 is 2. So we got the answer x is 2. So now we're going to write all these together. Okay, so therefore x is 2 then y is 9 and z is equals to 5 and that's the final answer now i'm going to show you how to double check your answer using casio class Wiz calculator first you press the menu button and then you press the right 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 until you can see equations you see equation a so press alpha and then negative button is a okay so we're going to choose simultaneous equation option number one press one and then how many unknowns x y and z consider as three unknowns press three okay so you see here will be three rows yeah so the first one is 3x plus 2y plus 4z equals to 44 so we press 3 equals and then 2 equals and then 4 equals okay 44 equals okay and then the second one will be x plus y plus z equals to 16 so 1 equals 1 equals 1 equals okay and then 16 equals and then the third one will be 2x plus 5y plus 5z equals to 74 so 2 equals then 5 equals and then 5 equals and then 74 and then we will get our answers x is equals to 2 y equals to 9 and z equals to 5 so in this way we can check our answers to make sure that our answers are correct using casio class Wiz calculator okay that's all for this video Thanks for watching until the end and I hope that you will benefit from this video especially on how to use the Casio calculator to get your answers fast and accurate. If you have decided to buy this calculator, I will walk you through on how to buy it from Shopee. First, you click on the Shopee link in the description below using your computer or mobile app. If you're using a computer, you will see this page. The price shown is based on the latest price and it depends on when you click on the link. Sometimes the price can be lower and sometimes can be higher. You also get an exclusive free gift from Casio which may also change from time to time. You also get free shipping whereby the item will be sent directly to your house. Just make sure that you buy from Casio.os which is Casio official store to avoid any counterfeits. Oh yeah! Don't forget to use the discount vouchers from Shopee yeah! Till we meet again in the next video. Bye!